I appreciate that you get. I appreciate that you get very. Um, uh, macro, but I'm going to stick with the micro if it's okay because it is Super Tuesday. Um, Bernie Sanders only has nine Democrats that have endorsed him in both chambers, meaning mm -hmm. nine Democrats in the Senate and uh, Congress have endorsed him. That's not a lot, if all things considered. Um, there are 40 seats that are up that were flipped in 2018 that 100% will be up. There's reporting uh, everywhere across all major news organizations that down ticket Democrats are extremely mm -hmm. nervous about yeah. Biden beating at the top of the ticket. I know in my home state of Arizona, mm -hmm. you have astronaut so Kelly running a Bernie Bernie, at the top. Bernie. You have asked uh, more center centrists, mm -hmm. right. Democrats running in red states, especially, like I said, my home state of Arizona, that could really be impacted by this. So I think a lot of seasoned Democrats see we could not only lose the White House, but we could end up losing the House and mm -hmm. Senate again all mm -hmm. over again. So it's much bigger than just this progressive movement. And I will say, we've been talking a lot about Bernie and the Bernie bros, mm -hmm. and his supporters are the, I will say it again, they're the most vicious. They are not going to let this go. They're not going to make this easy for Biden, even if he gets the most delegates, mm -hmm. even if he gets the most popular votes. They are going to go out swinging because because they think of this as not just a political race, but a revolution, and they want yes. to be on the right side of the well, revolution. It, it may be a re listen. It may be a revolution, but even the revolution has to have a floor to begin. I don't with. disagree. I don't. You know, I, I mean, we don't. I'm no know. Bernie supporter. Yeah, and, no, and, they, and let's not forget yeah. that a college-educated white women in the suburbs flipped the house in 2018. Yeah, the very that, important demographic. That yeah. voting block is pro-Biden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Obviously, the black community is pro-Biden. You've got key Young demographics. Mm -hmm. For Biden, I, I think he has a m better chance well, myself and to win. I think this to country. your point, Megan, if people listen to the down, you know, the, if they understand the importance <laughs> of down ticket voting, mm -hmm. what's interesting is that Democrats only need four Senate seats to flip yep. the Senate. Yep. Yep. Four, Graham, just Mitch four. McConnell. Uh, that's uh, where. That's what's really out important. Vote to get them out. That's really, really Mitch McConnell important. McConnell isn't going anywhere. Mitch McConnell is not even going worse anywhere. Than Trump. Even if anywhere. Trump gets reelected, yeah. only four Senate seats are necessary. If Biden gets elected or a Democrat but, gets elected, only three Senate seats are really necessary. But it's really bizarre to me when you have so many traditionally deep red states in play, like mm -hmm. Texas and Arizona and you know other places throughout the country that could really feasibly turn blue. Arizona could turn blue. I'm sorry, With but you Mark can carry Kelly. an AR-15 yeah. anywhere you want in Arizona. The idea of turning blue is like a fantasy land for me. And you're going to possibly yeah. ruin those possibilities. For Bernie, OK. I mean, again, I thought you guys wanted to flip states. I thought you wanted, and that's why I think well, we the say. progressive we left, do. but the ideology of the progressive left may win out over winning. Well, like they let's may, see. Like, let's see what happens, because I think more people feel like I do. Yeah, I do. It's like, listen, I'm OK. Listen, people want change. There's no problem with that. There's yeah. nothing wrong with change. Yeah. But I don't want change on top of chaos. And yeah. we've got <laughs> chaos at the moment. Yeah. So I want. You know, that's a, that's a T-shirt, by the way. You I don't like want that? change on top of chaos. Yeah. Whoopee. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'd wear it. <laughs> Some normalcy. You know? Some normalcy yeah. back. I, well, right? I, I just I want to have faith in the EPA. I want to have faith in the CDC. Yeah. I don't want to think everyone is lying and to you me don't all think the Bernie time. Can bring that. I don't. You know what? I don't know what Bernie can bring because having lived in Vermont, mm -hmm. I did not see it. Yeah. Okay, I did not see it. There's no free school in Vermont, okay? And all the black people moved when I did. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. There was only four of us to start with, and we all sort of, no. Vermont's a great, it's, Vermont, Vermont, Vermont is a great, people, it, it has, it's a great state, but all the things that he's talking about, I didn't, I didn't did not see it, see it. I was there for a long time. I know. 